So I find it really important to practice diatonic lines because whenever you transcribe solos, you're going to see chromaticism everywhere and all these embellishments. But it's really important to know what exactly are they embellishing? Where, where does all this stuff come from? In my opinion, diatonic fundamentals are really the source of all these brilliant bebop lines that you hear. You know that saying, first you must learn the rules before you break them? These are the rules. Often I find it probably the most difficult to actually create beautiful melodies out of just strictly diatonic lines because chromaticism can act as a crutch. So if you have a really strong sense of diatonic phrasing, then I believe when you branch outside of that, you'll be just that much more grounded.